the second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Mel Cow. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpads.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it and get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler at me to get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that Mother Mook Easy Does It. And you know what? I came in expecting a lot out of this mixtape, you dig, man? And I'm going to tell you exactly why. Because as we all seen, Mother Mook completely slaughtered Loaded Lux in the last battle that he did. And which if you go back and you hear Loaded Lux's last mixtape that he dropped that you going to get this work, you hear a top five mixtape of the year. So I'm thinking maybe since he proven his dominance against Lux that this project will also do the same. And sadly, no. You going to get this work mixtape completely dominated easy does it. I mean, there were some songs off here that were cool and some that definitely had some potential. Like my favorite songs off of this one, Will the G's with Rayquan, that's my shit. Rayquan definitely did the motherfucking thing on it. And that high times was dope as hell too. And then some songs that had potential. They could have been really, really good songs, which was that preach and that clap for me, but yet it just didn't come out as well as it should have. But besides those, a ton of really bad songs, you dig, man? And a lot of it can go with the features that he went out and got. Like, he went out and got a bunch of features from people that really didn't add anything to the songs, you dig? Really, ruined some of the damn songs. And really these people that he went out and got, really they needed him more than he needed them. And that's a big fucking mistake. Like, these are the people that he got. Ron Browns, who I never really liked his music ever. LL Cool J when come on. That dude been washed up. Snoop Dogg, the same way. I know Buster Grimes is fucking with you right now, man, but honestly, out of all of these verses, he could have got one verse from Bobby Shimoda, and it would have did more for this mixtape than any of those verses. And I don't even like Bobby Shimoda and shit, man, and honestly, I'm happy he didn't get him, but he should have got somebody like Los. He should have got Big Crip. He should have got Logic. He should have got somebody who's hot right now, that's doing great music right now, that definitely bring more to the project. Not saying that these features are the absolute reason why most of these other songs was damn trash, because they were trash to begin with. But I definitely do recommend you guys to go on hit out and peep it out, because he does spit some lyrics, and he does have some decent songs on it. But anyway, on to Ask, Down Low Pass. And Chance says that Pharrell is a legend in the game and such, man. But right now, I would not let him touch a single track that I did because he's doing too many other things right now. And I feel you, like, probably about the time that he was recording this T.I. album, he was probably knee-deep in negotiations to get on The Voice or getting that happy fame that he was getting. It's tough to try to put your hip-hop career on the line with him right now. And Jet says, the only people that's not giving Logic a chance, man, right now, would be these dudes who saying they only want to hear real hip-hop. And you know, I would say there's more people than that, honestly, but quite honestly, they may be a huge sum of it. Those people don't want to hear anybody new, and if they want to hear somebody new, they have to fit a certain mold instead of just finding the best fucking music, and it's bullshit all the way, and dudes need to wake up and grow out of that shit. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.